final and fourth story uh, is about DC because some of these places, they're just not stopping when it comes to COVID. They're actually getting even worse. Uh, this is a tweet from DC Mayor Bowser. She says, remember that starting Saturday, you will need these three things before heading out. Proof of vaccination, 12 years or plus. Uh, proof of vaccination and photo ID, 18 years and over and a mask. Now, it's interesting the way she worded that, to head out. She didn't say to go into government property. She didn't say to go into a restaurant. She said to head out, that you have to basically have your papers. That's what she's saying. We know none of this nonsense works. We know that the vaccines don't stop you from getting COVID. We know that the vaccines don't stop you from spreading COVID. Uh, we know that people are just not paying attention to these vaccines. We know that a higher percentage of black people have not been vaccinated. So is this racist? We also know that forcing someone to show a voter, uh, some sort of photo ID, that's, we're always told that's racist if you, if you do it to make sure that people are voting as the person that they say they are. But somehow, uh, if you show a voter ID, or a photo ID to walk into McDonald's, you have to prove that you're uh, vaccinated, but then you can eat the food that'll make you fat, which will make you even sicker if you get COVID. You guys get it yet? You get it yet? These people are just ridiculous. Oh, and of course, you know, number three there was the mask thing. And it's like, we're, they're telling us now that the masks don't even work. So now they've got everybody in N95, so you just can't breathe. It's all insane. So all this leads me to this interesting compilation video that I saw on Twitter, Twitter just about how badly the narrative has just crumbled over the last two years. Take a look. And I'm gonna shut down the virus. I'm gonna shut down the virus. Look, there is no federal solution. That vaccinated people do not carry the virus, don't get sick. Not gonna get COVID if you have these vaccinations. People who've been vaccinated are unlikely to get COVID. This is a pandemic of the unvaccinated. That's why I'm moving forward with vaccination requirements wherever I can. Breakthrough infections. More breakthrough cases of COVID-19. Fully vaccinated folks testing positive. That's going to be our new normal. It seems that more than half of the people in the UK with the variant have been double jabbed. Most are young people under 40 years old. Nearly 80% were vaccinated. New concerns about the Omicron variant. A record level of children under the age of five are being hospitalized amid a climbing infection rate. If you look at the children who are hospitalized, many of them are hospitalized with COVID as opposed to because of COVID. And they get counted as a COVID hospitalized individual when in fact they may go in for a broken leg. So it's overcounting the number of children who are quote hospitalized with COVID. If you're attacking me, you're really attacking science. I mean, everybody knows that. You're really attacking not only Dr. Anthony Fauci, you're attacking science. 95% effective. This is our show. Brought to you by Pfizer. This is the J&J vaccine that I'll be taking. So one and done. Americans will need a third shot. Fourth shot, another booster. Talk about people getting a fourth. Four, I thought we were just talking about three. So a fourth dose. We are looking forward to be able to vaccinate all these vulnerable people. Brought to you by Pfizer. You get it yet? Do you get it yet? I know you do, but maybe send that to some of your friends and family that do not get it yet. I will end by saying one last thing, which is that if you have stayed remotely sane in the last two years, I applaud you. Like if you manage to do it, if you manage not to fall for all the pitfalls and the traps they set up, if you manage to use your own brain and think things through and make decisions for yourself, and not become a hysterical lunatic. I applaud you. And I look forward to continuing our relationship as we blaze a trail to a freer, saner, and better America than, than we got right now.